So I'm just going to do a little sit on the dog with Ranger. We did the full one earlier on, and you should always do the full one. But just for like a little demo, I'm just going to do the beginning and the end of it. And just five minutes in the middle, which would usually be a half an hour. So you take your puppy, and you take the leash, and you put the leash right under the fatty part of your bum, and you have a steady chair. You sit on him. Then I usually time how long it takes for him to go down, and that's why you make the leash a little shorter because you get, you get in front of me. Even though he's a crazy pup, it doesn't generally take him long to get down. So I just scourge the chin on my knee by just hunching forward here. And our clock will start when his belly hits the floor. When his belly hits the floor, when you're at home, you're going to start your stopwatch for 30 minutes. He can get up and down during those 30 minutes, but this is to teach him how to chill. Um, around other dogs, children, uh, if you're doing activities later on. So we eventually bring this out into the real world, but we start in a low to moderate distracting setting. One minute, 10 seconds. So now I'm just going to do the clock for five minutes, what would usually be 30 minutes. So this teaches your puppy how to chill out with you. You know, so you can watch TV, enjoy a glass of wine on occasion, hang out with your family and friends, but you have to practice this consistently to keep it going. And then when we start it, Going in non-distracting areas, as I mentioned, we go out into more public, more distracting areas. So there's only one dog in here with us today because Izzy went home. But when we did this with him this morning, all my dogs, plus uh, some other daycare dogs that hang out on the other side of the house, were also there. And it took them maybe five minutes longer. Five minutes is going to seem like an eternity. I might, I might limit it because he's being very boring right now. No puppy tantrum, champer, no whining. But this is what you want. <laughs> you want it to look like paint drying. So if at the end of this he was up, I would wait for him to go down. Because it's all about teaching him his calm. So I don't want to let him up if he's all revved up and excited about something. So I'm usually listening to the TV or the music, which makes the time go by fast or do anything. But if I play the TV or music while I'm doing this for a client, YouTube will hold up my video and hold it hostage. So now I do my videos in quiet, which is probably better for my clients actually, so they can hear me. But terribly boring for me when I'm training. So 
just a minute and 46 seconds to go. As you can see, Ranger's pretty tuckered out just from the, uh, the sit session we just did. After this session, my ranger's going to take a nap and then we're going to do long line for the camera. And right now you can see he's pretty much toast. I will also do this exercise if he wasn't toast though, it's actually a good time to do it as well, which is why we did it earlier on today. Who's a good Jasmine? Are you awake now? You're next. All right. Ranger, okay. We're ready to go up. So Ranger, okay. We go and do some other training or he has some time off like he does right now. If you were to jump up to me, I'd say no and grab his collar. Oh, I need you. Ranger's not a bad guy, he just needs a little guidance for his puppy enthusiasm. And if he bites me or nibbles on me, I go, ah! I'm in trouble. 